Question 13. When an equimolar mixture of H2 and I2 reacts, the mole fraction of HI in the final mixture is X. What is the equilibrium constant Kp for this reaction? Okay, so first, uh, we need to use the uh, ICE table. I means initial, C means change, E means equilibrium. And we need to find the moles of the reactants and the products uh, at equilibrium. Uh, if you don't know where to start from, you can actually uh, refer to the answers. Because the answers uh, is uh, 1 minus x and 1 minus 2x. And we know that uh, it's always products over reactant. So means uh, the we should start from one mole each. After we start from one mole each, of course HI is zero. Then for the change, uh, there are two uh, choices, x and 2x. Um, I suggest you all to start with x. Uh, then uh, let's try it out. Okay, minus x for this H2 and I2. If uh, the H2 and I2 minus x, so the HI must plus 2x because it's 1 to 2 mole ratio. After that, uh, sum up the I and C, you'll get the, uh, the mole at equilibrium. So it's 1 minus x for this H2 and I2. And the HI is 2x. Okay, we try to calculate the total mole from this uh, equilibrium. Okay, so sum up okay, all this mole, 1 minus x plus 1 minus x plus 2x, you get 2. Okay, then you can get the uh, partial pressure of the HI, H2, and I2. So how to calculate the partial pressure of HI? So we need to use the mole fraction. Mole fraction is actually given here. The mole fraction of HI in the final measure is X, okay, which means it's actually the mole of H, uh, HI over total mole. So therefore, we get x is exactly uh, as described in this statement. So, and we use the x here times the total pressure. Pt means total pressure. Okay, this is the, the, the method we calculate the partial pressure. And we do the same thing for the H2 and I2. Okay, so it's 1 over x over 2 for the mole fraction of the H2 and I2. Okay, the mole of H2 and I2 is 1, o, 1 minus x okay, over total mole, so it's this one. Okay, times the total pressure, okay, then you get the partial pressure for these two reactants. Substitute this partial pressure, I mean uh, this, this partial pressure and these two partial pressure into the KP expression. Okay, it's the partial pressure of the HI square over partial pressure of the H2 times the I2. Okay, so after you substitute, it should be like this and this. Okay, and you uh, try to solve it. Okay, then eventually you get this one. Right, so you get, of course, you get C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.